It was a normal day. The children were playing and watching TV. I was cooking when I heard the whistle of a homemade rocket. It exploded outside the house, but because the front door blew off its hinges, I was thrown across the room. I couldn't hear, couldn't see, I didn't know I was alive, until I felt my husband's hand. He was crying. We didn't want to leave Syria. We didn't want to leave our home. So we made repairs. We got a new door, a stronger door, and repainted the walls. Things felt like maybe they would get better, but still I would flinch whenever I thought I heard a whistling sound. After a few days, I knew that I had to go outside. We needed food, so I had to go to the market. I was shaking, afraid to leave the house. I met my friend, my best friend for a long time. We talked and laughed together. She made me feel better. She stopped me from walking down the main street. She called it Sniper Street. She said they were shooting at anyone they could see. She didn't know if it was government or rebels. We walked together to the market, got what we needed and came back the same way, the safest way, but the snipers had moved. I heard a shot and she fell. I had to leave her because I knew they would have shot me too. I had to just leave her there. I was crying because nothing was safe, nowhere, not anymore. I ran home. That was the day we decided to leave Syria, the house and the city that I grew up in. I pray that one day we will be able to go home again.